Good evening from Chile, Twin Licker, Sandra Spaulding. Thank you for asking me to speak on behalf of Goldschmidt Vineyards and Herald Wine. So I've had a long relationship with David and Margaret dating back 30 something years when I was the winemaker at Simi. From there I uh, ran a small piece of Constellation at the time and went on to Allied to make Jim Beam. So I was a corporate winemaker for 28 years and went out on my own in 2008. The exclusive brand that we have for Twin Liquor, I am so, so thankful for, and it's called Herald. And Herald is a proclamation or the storytelling of a particular site. So each vineyard that we work with, if you remember back in 2008, the economy was really tough and 2009 included, is a lot of these small growers, independent growers, didn't have a route to market. And so we took on some of those vineyards uh, that were separate to my own vineyard my own brands, my own vineyards, and uh, found a route to market for these guys. And so one particular vineyard is just north of Healdsburg, towards the east, and on the vineyard there's Zinfandel, Cabernet, Chardonnay, and Merlot. And so Herald is made from this one vineyard. Each wine is one vintage and one variety, and all the wines are vegan. They're unfined, unfiltered, and uh, really unique wines. So appreciate you supporting us, Twin Liquor and Sandra. Thank you for having on. So just a quick um, run through of the wines. The Chardonnay is from the Russian River, so it's a really unique property because the river runs right next to the property, the Russian River. And so on one side, we have all the red grapes, and on the other side, we actually have the Chardonnay. It's an old vine Chardonnay, so very unique. There's no clones, no Dijon, no UC Davis clones. These are all mass selections, field selections. What you're going to get is a lot of subtropical fruit, passion fruit, melon, those sort of characters. Quite unique, quite different. I make the wine in about 40% concrete, so you're going to get some more minerality rather than just pure wood. The other wines that we make are we, Merlot comes from the same property. It's a bigger berry. It's down closer to the river because what's important is that you need more water holding capacity to grow Merlot because a Merlot berry is bigger. So. We want that berry to remain in good turg or all the way through so that when we bring it into the winery, I can extract the heck out of it. So it's a Cabernet drinker's Merlot, if you like. So it still has the delicacy of what Merlot is. And remember, Merlot is still the number one red grape in the world, but we cabify it. So we, we make a Cabernet style Merlot from this, from this vineyard. So hence its popularity. The Zinfandel is super old really old vine Zinfandel, good spice, good pepper, um, but still has this velvety tannin structure and very lively. And I really want to keep these wines under 15 alcohol. It's the only variety that I'm really fussy about with alcohol. The others I'm all 14.1, 14.2, etc. So uh, Zinfandel is a little bit higher in alcohol, but still not at the 15 and a half that you typically get from a lot of Zinfandel. And of course the home run is the Cabernet certainly the best value probably the most popular wine that you have at twin as far as the herald line goes but man talk about value beautiful vineyard beautiful east facing so morning sun only hillside um just a, a great great property small small berry produces about three ton to four ton an acre in a good year we only produce about five to eight hundred cases depending on the year as well so really awesome so hopefully you get a chance to try that twin thank you for the super long relationship i've had with david and margaret of course and sandra thank you for allowing me to talk to your team as well please feel free to ask me any questions i'd love to do another video i know this was a little bit long but i can certainly fill it in and give you more description on each one cheers and thank you cheers